Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good 4th of July holiday. Um, we got uh, a little ways through ours, and a um, fella, he and his son that were working on my uh, Mustang brought it back, and uh, so we got to spend time with family and had a good time uh, swimming and having a cookout and playing cornhole and passing baseball with the grandkids and things like that and then got to take a 40 mile drive in the in the 66 mustang yesterday uh, evening uh, for an ice cream so we had a good time uh, but here we are today um, I told my wife this feels like a Monday again because we're starting uh, over, but it'll be a short week. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 11, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God in no trust, also are made manifest in your consciousness. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. <laughs> for the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we were all dead. And that he died for all, that they which should live not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, though we know Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. No, uh, he says, whether we're beside ourselves, or whether we're sober. He doesn't mean whether I'm drunk or not. He he means whether uh, you would think I'm insane or whether I'm with it. Uh, everything I do is for God. Everything I have is for Him. The love of Christ constrains us because we ju judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. We were all, of course, sins and trespasses, all of us. Uh, we were all sinners. We've all come short and fallen short of that uh, glory of God. Now, there's no way for us to make it to Father's house. Jesus said in John chapter 14, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I'm going to prepare you a place, and if I go and prepare you a place, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there you may be also. So in Father's house, that's home. There'd be no reasoning for us to try to make it home by ourselves. We can't do it. He's our Savior. He's our Lord. He's our guide. He's our protector. He is the one that draws us. Then when we are saved, he is the one that leads us. And when we leave this life, he is the one that receives us into uh, that eternal home. It's not anything we've done. Paul was saying right there, it's not. He didn't come preaching with the excellency of speech. And I know that that's very, that is a very popular uh, thing um, to hear a great orator or someone who speaks well, and everybody has their own favorite style of preaching, but uh, the Apostle Paul no doubt was well versed, no doubt was well educated, uh, but he didn't come pushing around his educational weight. He came preaching Christ and him crucified, and he knew that was the only reason for him um, to have eternal life. So I lived a life that had no meaning. All alone in a world without a friend Till Jesus gave me hope and inspiration And everlasting peace that lies within A crown of glory waits in heaven For those who bear His love inside Above the many things that I remember 
is acceptance by my Savior, Lord and God. The door of sin is always open for those who want to enter in. For Christ holds the key to the only answer. Just one turn and I know he'll let you in. A crown of glory waits in heaven for those who bear his love inside. Above the many things that I remember is acceptance by my Savior, Lord and God. I my days down here are numbered, and time is swiftly drawing nigh. A burden so heavy has been lifted, simple truth and understanding get me by. A crown of glory waits in heaven for those who bear his love above the many things that I remember is acceptance by my Savior Lord and God above the many things that I remember is acceptance by my Savior Lord and God Lord I thank you for the day you've given us Lord I thank you uh, for the acceptance that comes uh, from you. And the only reason we are accepted is because the blood of Christ is applied. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for all you do for us. I pray that you will bless all those that watch this today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Thursday.